All right, what is up guys? So this week's video of the CR125 build series is gonna be all about rebuilding the braking system and we're gonna get this thing working new. Um, today's video was originally gonna be about the wheels here. All right, here's the wheel and as you can see, these spokes are way too long. I got sent over the wrong size spokes. So I will definitely have to be redoing this. So I'll definitely be getting back on this wheel here in the next few days, but either the next video or the video after that will be the wheels. It just depends on whatever parts come in first, but let's get to work on these brakes and get them working brand new. Okay, so here's the braking components that we Cerakote in the last video, and here's a master cylinder kit for the rear brakes, a couple sets of brake pads, and the uh, piston for the rear brake caliper that I needed to replace. And then a caliper rebuild kit for the front brakes. And then another one for the rear. Alright, so I'm going to start with the rear master cylinder here. And there's those two seals inside that I need to remove. To remove these seals, I'm going to use this looping pick here and get under it. And then once I'm under, I can go ahead and pull the seal out. Just be mindful to not scratch up your piston bore. Uh, these seals, you'll notice there's one skinny one and one fatter one. So the fatter one will go farther into your uh, caliper. So you'll want to pay attention to that. Now I'll just take some Dot 4 Honda brake fluid and I'm going to put it in this cup. And I'm just going to use the Dot 4 to lube up some of my seals as I put them in. All right, now that our caliper's lubed up, we can go ahead and put in our seals. This big one's going to be a little bit harder since it goes in there farther. But we'll just get one end in and then work it into the groove and then I'll just run my finger around all the way and make sure it's in there straight. And it looks like it popped in there all the way. And then this front one's pretty easy. It goes in a lot more smoothly than the back one. And we'll lube up our brand new piston and it should slide right in over these brand new seals. We'll just get it started here and then we could start to wiggle it around and wiggle it past those seals and then it'll just pop right in. The reason why I put it in all the way is because it will make life easier when I go to bleed the brakes and also I'll have more room to put the brake pads in. Alright now we can put our rubber boot here that goes onto the top and we'll use some Maxima waterproof grease to help it go in easier. And then we can put some medium strength thread locker onto our slide pin bolt and this is what will allow the bracket to slide onto the caliper. And now the last thing we have to install onto our caliper is the retaining bracket and our air bleeder screw. And then this other boot will fit into our bracket here. Just kind of work it around and it'll go in there. All right, we can put some grease on both of our sliding pins here so they slide into the seals good. And just line it up easy and then it should just push right on there. Now we can put our brake pads into the caliper. Um, it's pretty easy, you'll just wanna line up the two holes in the brake pads with where our last bolt goes into. And this bolt's just an eight millimeter, so tighten it down. It's probably about five to eight foot pounds on the torque spec for it. Alright guys, I already know our rear brakes are going to look absolutely amazing on the bike and also should run super smooth. For the master cylinder, really the only thing we'll be rebuilding is the piston here, so I'll remove the spring and then wedge the uh, pick under the same way I took out the seals on the caliper. Just wedge them under and then you can remove them. To install the new seal, you'll kind of want to stretch it over the top and it's going to be pretty hard since there's such a small hole. You just need to push it on. This one wasn't too bad, but some of them can be a pain. I usually like to do these seals one by one because they have little tiny differences between them and I want to make sure I get it right. And for this one, you can see it's got a small hole here and it has to pop over that big thing. So what I do is I use my tusk ring pliers and I just use the spring tension on them. And I'll put that little o-ring seal over the uh, fat part of the pliers so it doesn't rip on the tip there. And I'll just kind of start it over here. You can see my seal cut on the edge there and got a little bit twisted. So after I get it on here and work it over all the way, I'm going to just work it around to untwist it here. And now we can pop our new spring on that came with the rebuild kit. 
and then we'll go ahead and slide our piston into the cylinder and make sure it actuates correctly and it feels pretty good. And this push rod lines up here with the piston and then I'll push it down and use the circlip pliers to get this started and then I'll use an allen bit to push it in and get it to snap into place. You guys can use anything that'll fit in there. And now we can slide this dust seal over the top of this nut here and get it locked into place to protect our piston from debris. Then we'll thread our nut onto here and then tighten down our connecting bracket here that'll connect the uh, master cylinder to your rear brake pedal. And then this piece I'll just slide through and put the clip in for now but I'll have to remove this when I go to install it onto the bike. Alright, now we can put our rubber seal in here, and then we can install our cap. Also, if you guys have noticed, I'm not going to be installing the banjo bolts on today and our brake lines. I'm just going to wait until this stuff's on the bike to bleed the brakes and install those components. And here's how the rear brake master cylinder ended up coming out. Okay guys, now I can start on the front brakes. The process is going to be really similar for this front caliper and bracket here as it was for the rear brakes. I also have my diagram handy here since I did take these brakes apart a couple months ago. And now we'll move on to our front master cylinder. It's amazing how much smoother these master cylinders work after getting rebuilt. And I picked up this black front brake lever to match my master cylinder cap, so I'm excited to see how this looks on here. These brake components came out really good guys. I can't wait to put these things on the bike, and it feels good to be one step closer to putting this bike back together.
If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button for me.